All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube, it's Pastor Dow. Gamesmanship, mental gymnastics, blase, blase, worldly wisdom versus spiritual knowledge. This Shabbat, without me even knowing it, I had already answered some people's um, questions and thoughts, sentiments about things. I'm going to make this video right here about third party arbitrary friendships, all right, relationships, brotherhood, sisterhood, etc. Let me give you an example. All right, over and over and over again, I know many of you don't know. You think you're supposed to just go ahead and put up and tolerate with people and stuff. And if somebody's contrary to the way that uh, uh, your life is going, the ministry is going, is that we're supposed to just continue to keep giving these people plays and wait until they get it and stuff. But that ain't what the book says. Uh, and I, that's, that's obvious. But there's this sentiment out there that, let's say, if I've got a friend, all right, and... And then all of a sudden, you come into the picture, and then we all become friends. And then let's say, all of a sudden, for whatever reason, whatsoever at all. And this is how you know that people are really, truly not friends anyway. They don't have friendships, and these people don't even know how to be a friend. Because the bottom line, first of all, number one, if you're going to be a friend, you're going to first show yourself friendly. In other words, you don't wait on somebody else to become friendly. You have to have it in your heart. You have to have it in your mind. You have to be the one to determine that no matter what goes on, that you're going to continue to keep working at this relationship or friendship and not just fall out at the first sign of disagreement. And that's what people do today because they totally, totally immature. Now, now, I mean, hear me out because I'm going to help you out here. All right. And let's just say all of a sudden, um, the immature person all of a sudden doesn't get it. And next thing you know, they break off relationships with me. Now, mind you, too many times more often than not, what that person would do is still try to keep a friendship with my friend, the one that was a friend with me. And they believe that that friend right there should actually continue on with them in a relationship or a friendship. All right. Now, where does this come from? Because obviously it's going to strain the relationship, especially if you have people who are men of honor, men who, are, who, are, who follow a particular moral code. All right? It goes like this. And this is the way that the word works. You see, it's one thing if somebody comes into the friendship and they are not part of the ministry, not part of the brotherhood, but they just, you know, people who we acknowledge as friends that's one thing or acquaintances associates colleagues and you use any superlative you want all right but when you are in the faith and then one person does not meet y'all's conditions and then they still want to go out and try to be friends with somebody else in my book it just simply can't happen and notice i did say in my book and when i say my book i'm talking about the book the book the word and that's why I say over and over again, a lot of people are functioning in this world today and don't even have a clue to what those scriptures say, don't have a clue what the Bible says or nothing. Let me tell you something. A friend is someone who loves at, watch this, all times. And the problem we're having today is these proud, arrogant people who can't be corrected. That's the problem we're having today. The problem we're having today is that people are, are, are trying to live this life in such a way to where they think people ought to bend themselves to their will um, and then that's the only way we can have what you call uh, friendship. No, 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 no. That ain't the way it works. A friend loves at all times. And there is a friend that actually sticketh closer than a brother. These people that are these fair weather friends in one minute, out the next minute, in one minute, out the next minute. It depends on which way the wind blow. These are not friends. These are not even associates or colleagues. These are what you call people are bystanders. And they ain't innocent either. But if there's three of us that have a relationship, and we are in the relationship together. And one of us, we go and we try to correct the other one and get it right. You know what your course of action should be? You should ostracize. You should put away from you that evil, wicked person. So it doesn't strain the true friendship that has been there, established for quite some time. And you know who you are with each other. Because too many times, again, more often than not, you see it happen in churches clicks you see it happen in work environments clicks and you you'll get people that's just trying to be forced to make a decision whether or not that they're going to be a friend of this because it's obvious that 
most people ain't at this kind of level of maturity. But if you're in the ministry, now I'm going to just use this as an example, and we've given you instruction, and you don't comply with those instructions, we're not going to count you as an enemy, but we damn sure ain't going to count you as a friend either. And, then we gonna, and we're not going to continue on in, in no sweet fellowship until you get it right. And that until you get it right is not when you determine to get it right. It's when we determine that we're going to allow you to come back in us because if you strain this relationship once, you're going to do it again, over and over again. You know, the philosophy that some of you have out there is just simply, utterly preposterous and amazing. It really is. You think that you can go out there and crap, speak about, talk about, slander, defame, and, and, and paint a negative picture of somebody, come back and say a few words, a few words, oh, I'm sorry, uh, 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 I was mad. I don't give a damn if you're mad or not. You better learn how to control your anger. You better learn how to control your tongue because once it come out of your mouth, it's just like a feather going out of a towel. You ain't going to be able to retrieve that thing. Once it comes out of your mouth, I don't give a shit what you say. It comes straight from your heart, period, point blank. I lived this life long enough to know the communication of men's heart and what's really truly in it because I, get, I mean, I have some close brothers, I have some close friends, and there's no way that I would talk to some of my brothers and talk to some of my friends and just let my loose ass mouth and lip just run and, and just foam out all the wickedness of my heart and then later on only to come back and say, oh, you know, I'm sorry, I, I really truly didn't mean it. And you know what? Those people give another trial and tribulation They'll, they'll drop right back in that spirit again. Right back in that spirit again. And if you turn around and keep entertaining it, you are a fool. You are exactly a fool because, you know, friendship again. I'm going to reiterate this and I'm going to put emphasis on this again and again and again. All friendships, all relationships, all brotherhoods, all sisterhoods are based on your ability and, a, and your level to first that means principal thing. First, that means principal thing. First, you showing yourself friendly. Not the other way around where you turn around and say, well, well, uh, 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 I'm just going to wait till they get it and stuff. And when they get it, then we can become friends and stuff. No, you ain't. You deceitful lying dog, you. If you're the one in the relationship that has comprehension and understanding, you're the one that's chargeable to make sure that love overcomes a multitude of sins. That love covers a multitude of sins. If you see a brother overtaken in a fault, you should be the first one to consider yourself. But what you do is consider your sorry feelings and your sorry emotions. Myself, person, I don't tolerate people who are against my person in any way, shape, fashion, or form. Now, when it comes to brotherhoods and sisterhoods, man, I have a high tolerance of compassion. I have a, 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 a long-suffering stick that's, that's miles long. But man, when that gap starts closing, it closes real fast. I know how to remove you out of my life. I know how to turn the page. And, and chances are, you may never get back in it again. And I promise you, it won't be because there's anything I've done. It's because you've been tested. Because if you do have a friend, you're supposed to test them. You're supposed to prove them and try them. You see, my, myself personally being a friend of someone is not based on uh, what they do with me is based on my heart towards them. That's like my wife right here. She's done, done a lot of shit in life that I, I just want to just say, you know, you know what? What the hell with this? That's too many damn women in this world. I don't need this shit. You get your ass out. <laughs> Period. But I am the one that's determined to love her because that's the way I'm supposed to do. And she's going to have faults and failures and all this other stuff. And me too. But see, in this relationship, I'm the one that's chargeable with the authority to make sure that this relationship runs right. And if it gets strained too long and she doesn't meet the conditions, goodbye, serenata, and so the hell on. Because I'm not going to be oppressive towards her in any way, shape, fashion, or form. Y'all begin to understand what I'm saying. Am I giving you wisdom? Am I giving you knowledge? Am I giving you understanding to be able to comprehend so that you don't get abused? in relationships today. So you got a lot of these uh, so-called dumbass fast talkers or smooth talkers today that, that want to try to deceive you through that damn philosophy and then try to use the Bible as if they got comprehension and understanding not when they are just as stupid as hell and they brutish and they shouldn't even be, matter of fact, they, they got a mouth 
And of course, everybody got a new moving, but you are a fool if you sit and listen to that mess and that garbage. So if you want to really truly be a friend, you first and stop putting forth the finger, show yourself friendly, period, point blank. And that's the truth. And that's the true straight way.